Hey, what's up guys? I got another fun SHTF. Get, what, what are you doing? Get out from under there. Crazy cat. If I could only choose two pistols to bring to an apocalypse situation or just your SHTF shit hit the fan situation. Now this is a, <laughs> I love and I hate these questions because all the guns I have, I like. It's really hard for me to choose between them because I bought all of them because I love them. And having to choose like this is just a really hard thing to do. If this moment ever comes, and I think we can all agree we pray it never happens, if we look closely at if we look closely at a world map, we can clearly see no matter which pistol or gun we choose, we're probably going to die. Uh, no matter how you know how prepared you are, uh, that stray bullet from across the block can come down and get you. And that be lights out for you forever. So I think um, I think choosing a weapon for these type of situations is just choose whichever one you are the most comfortable with, despite ammo compatibility, parts compatibility. It, it, none of that stuff, I think, is going to have any type of bearing. Look, if you are shooting your weapon pistol, especially a pistol, enough to need spare parts or extra magazines, there's a very good chance you're not going to survive very long at all. If you are shooting your backup weapon pistol that many times. A rifle, okay, I can kind of agree that you might need some more magazines at some point, but still, even then, uh, it, it's a stretch. The other day when I did the video on the uh, top two rifles to choose, I ended up going with my AR only because I have on hand more magazines for that than I do with my Mini. I only have two magazines for my Mini, so and I got like 15 plus for my AR. So that was pretty much the only reason I went with my AR. Otherwise, I would choose my Mini because it just says I'm more comfortable with it. It needs less maintenance, and I trust it. You know, just choose the weapon that you trust and you feel like it's going to do the job. Okay, so moving on to today's video. So do we choose a pistol, like I said, that the Army compatibility with m17 got a lot of compatibility with uh with that but like i said earlier too that i don't feel like that really matters to have these uh ammo compatibility with everything because i feel like if you're going to need more magazines or more guns you're just going to come across the gun itself in a you know say somebody is down and they're done and they had a weapon on them you're just going to take the weapon. You're not going to just go up to him and take his magazine and run away. Just take the whole weapon and the magazines will come with it. Um, I think that's the <laughs> more likely scenario here as to when you need the parts or magazines to something. Okay, so your next option is something small. Something that you can hide really well. And for me, it's this SIG P365 XL. And... While I feel like you can hide these smaller weapons really good, I feel like in these big situations like this, it's not going to matter as much. You can still hide a full-size pistol just as easily. You know, it's like, just put you a big shirt on. You'll be fine. Any normal size, full-size pistol is going to, you're going to be able to hide it. Okay. It's just not, it's not going to be a problem. So I think the best thing for these scenarios is just choose a pistol that's comfortable and you shoot it well. So basically for me, that ends up being all of my full size guns. So I won't be choosing any type of micros or compact 
guns for this scenario. I know it's no secret that my favorite pistol in my little collection is my 226 Legion. And this weapon just, just seems to fit me the best and I shoot it really well. It's got some great night sights on it and I really like this pistol, but it can't be denied that the next runner up for me is always going to be the USP. And this one's in nine millimeter as well. So these guns, I feel like we're built for this situation that I'm explaining right now. This is the go to war gun right here. And I still really like the USPs. I mean, they still fit my hand really, really well. So if I can just choose two guns, <clears throat> the question comes down to, do I choose two pistols of the same caliber or do I choose one alternate? So just for safety, do you choose one caliber that's different from your normal one? And for me, that would be a 45 because this is the only, well, besides my 22 pistol, which I'm not going to be taking the 22 pistol. I will choose a 22 rifle, but I will not choose a 22 pistol to bring along. So this is the only 45 I have. And this is the SIG 220. Really, really love this gun too. Okay. So this would be my alternate caliber for a pistol. So you have one nine millimeter and you have one 45 on you. You know, that, that means a different type of ammo you got to carry around, but also it means you have more versatility, you know, because you're probably just going to be using one gun most of the time. But if you happen to run out of that ammo and come across more ammo, or, you know, you just happen to have more ammo, which you should, you'll have a 45 and that will take care of versatility. Okay. So, but the alternate way you could also go is you choose another weapon that's the exact same as your primary. So this is my USP expert and it's also in nine millimeter. And I have plenty of these magazines for this weapon. So same caliber, same magazine. No confusion whatsoever on which gun you're going to need or pull if you need to pull it. You have nine millimeter primary, nine millimeter backup, or you go with the nine millimeter primary and the 45 backup or vice versa. You know, just whichever gun you have more ammo for, that's probably going to be your main weapon of choice. So, so this is where the choices kind of come down to. Do you go with versatility and go with a couple different calibers? Or do you just go with one caliber and have plenty of it on hand? So we got same magazines, same caliber, different magazines, different caliber, more versatility. It's a really hard decision for me in this case. I you know, I favor the, 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 the 226 as far as shootability, okay? Um, but I still shoot the USPs plenty good enough for this situation. But being that polymer weapons require a little less maintenance than your alloy or steel guns, that gives the polymer is a big win. And plus it's, you know, it's no secret that the USPs are just built for hell and back. So you have durability, you have maintenance, all of those factors you have with these. But if I really get down to it and honest with you, these guns are not gonna require a lot of maintenance at all, even though they are alloy or steel. Both of them are alloy though, they're not all full steel pistols. But so, you know, 
again, I'm just going to go back to what I said at the beginning. Pick one that you are the most comfortable with and, and that's it. And being that I have sufficient magazines for the USPs and for the SIGs, they're both kind of just a wash for me on all these fronts. So now it just comes down to which one do I think I'm gonna need? Do I want two nine millimeters or do I want one nine millimeter and one 45? This is a hard decision, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I really didn't make up my mind before I, I did this video. So I'm really trying to just think hard about this situation. Do I need a 45 and a nine millimeter or do I, am I just gonna be fine with nine millimeter in the same magazines, less confusion, Okay, well look, let me let me talk about one more thing. If I do go with the SIGs and I do have a 45, this, you know, eight mag eight eight shot magazine. I have a 10 shot. Which kicks this baby up a little bit higher. But you know, still that's only 10 shots compared to 19 in these these are the extended magazines so they hold 19 or is it 18 i can't remember which one 18 so these are 18 plus one in both of these guns right here 38 rounds as opposed to the met guards also hold 18 in these so 18 plus one in the sig and then 10 plus one in the 45 as, as much as I love my SIGs in this scenario, if Apocalypse is coming down, we have got to go out and survive the best we can with the weapons that we have. I'm gonna go with my dual wielding USPs, okay? I mean, this is why these guns were made, okay? And these were my first love. This was my first love, okay? The USPs. When I saw these weapons, I was just like, I gotta have it. And if this situation is ever gonna come about, then I want these babies in my hands, okay? It would be nice if one of them was a 45, then I would have that dual caliber scenario covered, but I think I'm going to be fine. Most of the ammo that I have, actually, yeah, 90% of the ammo that I have on hand right now is 9mm. So I, it's really not a tough decision for me now that I think about my ammo situation. I do not have a lot of 45, but I have a good bit of 9mm. So guys, I think my choice is going to be to hell and back HK USP. Oh, you want some of this, huh? You want it? You want it? I told you not to interrupt my videos and you do it anyways. It's fine. Whatever. Coco. All right, guys. That's all I got for you today. Now, just like with the rifle situation, I want you guys to comment below on two pistols. Not just the make, the manufacturer. I want you to list what caliber you would choose as well. Please comment both those things below because I, I just, I want to know. <laughs> I'm curious to what everybody does and I like hearing reasons behind why they would do it. So comment below what you would choose. What's your loadout going to be? This one's mine. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.